the former John Edwards aide who took responsibility for his boss's love child and then released a tell-all book about it, he could be looking at jail time. A judge said he was prepared to hold Andrew Young and his wife Sherry in contempt of court all over an alleged sex tape of the former presidential candidate and his then mistress, Rael Hunter. Bob Woodruff joins us now with the latest on this ever developing story. Really was, and he was so, so close to being hauled off to jail because the judge was clearly frustrated by Young's testimony. He kept telling Young to reveal all the details, but clearly the judge believes Young has yet to tell the full story. Andrew Young, the once loyal aide to John Edwards, narrowly averted a trip to jail, along with his wife, for contempt of court. I've decided that I'm going to have to incarcerate you both until such time as that second tape is produced, up to 75 days. At issue, the Youngs evolving and often conflicting statements about a personal and private videotape and more than 100 photographs Riel Hunter contends the Youngs took from her without consent. I think everybody knows pretty well the stressful situation that we've been under. Um, and I've tried to be as honest as I possibly can. Hunter's lawyers accused the Youngs of telling lies about who had seen the tape and how many copies were made. They produced an affidavit from a writer who says that Andrew Young showed him the sex tape last year on a large screen television at the Young's home. For more than seven months, Andrew and Sherry Young lived with Hunter in hiding. Young had falsely claimed to be the father of Hunter's child. There was one tape that was marked special. The sex tape was first revealed in Young's book, The Politician, and in an exclusive interview with 2020. Why did you keep it? Why didn't you just give it back to Hunter? I've read enough John Grisham novels to think that sometimes powerful, rich people don't always play by the rules, and we were scared. By the end of the hearing, the judge had threatened three separate times to jail the Youngs, but ultimately decided to give them a few more days to comply with his orders. The judge set another hearing in the case for Friday afternoon. It might be back. So there's a flash drive that might have other photos or videos, and they, the judge just can't get a straight answer from the Youngs? Well, he's got one flash drive that he's handed over. There might be another one. He can't remember where that one is or perhaps that he lost it. And there's also the possibility that there's, that there's other tapes that, uh, that he's not handed over yet. And so this is going to be very a, complicated. And showing a widescreen television to somebody And else? that's the one judge didn't know about that one before this happened. Oh, I got to oh, say, confused. that's the detail that got me, the, the little party to watch the tape. Exactly. That is just unbelievable. I mean, he said maybe oh. they're drinking. Well, I can't remember. We Bob will see. Woodruff, we will keep us posted. Thanks so much.